to address this allegation about Donald Glover that he addressed himself. Some of y'all know him as Childish Gambino, rapper, actor. He has all sorts of talents. Donald Glover, formerly known as Childish Gambino, addresses accusations that he's prejudiced against black women. Before I even get into this article, to my black men out there, let me have a talk with y'all real quick. Stop feeling as if you have to explain yourself to black women because you're not dating them. Stop feeling as if you have to explain yourself to black women because you're not dating them. These black women out here can go date white men or any other race they want. Black men in general, we don't care. We don't care. Soon as a black man becomes famous, dates a white woman or somebody else of any other race that isn't black, black women want to complain, black women want to get upset, but all in all, Black women want to get on camera every single day talking about how they don't want us and how other races will do more for them. But as soon as the black man steps out, outside of dating a sister, the black women want to complain about it, which I don't understand why. I don't understand why. You never hear men going around talking about this black act, act this black actress or this black singer, or this black VP is dating a white guy. You never hear that. But as soon as a black guy dates a white woman, they're up in shambles about it. They're up in shambles about it. Now me, your boy MABW, I don't care who dates who, but I'm just comparing and doing contrast on how y'all get mad when somebody's dating someone outside of the race that y'all want them to date. For instance, I could care less about Kamala Harris, period. But it's not because she has a white husband. You women will sit up here and talk about black love and how you feel these black people that are in high power should be with somebody else that's black. But Kamala Harris, her husband is a white man. And y'all still voted for Biden, even though Kamala Harris is a so-called black VP with a white husband. But let me guess, y'all ain't do y'all research on that though, right? Y'all ain't do a little bit of research on that though, right? But y'all get mad soon as people like, let's say Childish Gambino, Kanye West, whomever it may be that's in a black entertainment industry or just your average black man that y'all feel is handsome or cute walking down the street, y'all see him with somebody outside of the black race and y'all sucking y'all teeth. Y'all mad at him for dating somebody else and, and, and you're just mad because he's not dating somebody within our race. Why? But y'all can step outside and, and, and no black man better not say nothing to y'all. No black man better not say nothing to any black woman out here dating a white man at all. And for the most part, black men don't. We, <coughs> we, li <coughs> we literally could care less. Our, 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 our boxers are in a bunch when we see a black woman... Walking down the road with a white guy or, or walking down the street with a white guy. We don't care. Uh, more power to you, player. Now you can see what we go through. That's how we look at it. That's how we look at it. Let me read this article real quick. But I just wanted to, I just wanted to address that real quick before we got into this article. The sentiment resurfaced back in 2022 when Glover interviewed himself for Interview Magazine and asked, Are you afraid of black women? Because... For the most part, he knows that was he knows that is what women, especially black women, are thinking about him. Why? Maybe because he's dated a lot of white women in his life. Possibly. When addressing why he decided to ask the question, Glover says, I felt like it was something that people always say. But no one ever asked it because I felt like people really don't want to know. It's a better it's a better narrative. But anybody who actually knows me. Knows how much that hurts me. When asked how he's going to move past the accusations. And, and, and just, just that alone. I'm worried about an accusation. And if I don't like black women or not. Who, who cares? Like, like who really cares? 
I'm, like he's worried about an accusation. Nothing, nothing damning to him. Well, that's gonna end his career. You're just worried about if black women want to know that and how it hurt you. Like, cut it out, dude. I wouldn't even. That would be the last thing on my mind if a black lady came around and said, "Do you like?" I wouldn't even care. I wouldn't even probably like, man, get out of my face. When asked how he's going to move past the accusations, he says he's going to go play with my kids and be happy and present because my kids know that and they're the only ones who matter. Or my mom knows that and she's the only one who matters. Or Quinta Brunson knows that and she's the only one who matters. People who actually know me and also it's not, they also know it's not true. When I walk down the street in Atlanta, that's not what happens. So he's basically stating that he doesn't get called out because he possibly, or what they think out there, is prejudice against black women. It only happened, I swear, women hate on black men sometimes so much, but they act like they don't care about us or don't want us. And then if we say one little thing about them, one little thing, because he was called a misogynist too. Trust me, y'all. They call your boy a misogynist all day. Your boy M-A-B-W. They say I don't like black women all day. But if you go back and look at my video, if you go back and look at my catalog of video that I do, look at the type of women I talk about. Look at, if people really go back and analyze a lot of my videos, look at my catalog. I talk about people like Sexy Red. I talk about people like Sukiana. I talk about people like Gab Union, Sierra, women that are married, who are, who are embarrassing their husbands. To the black women out there, for all those women I just named, are any of you women out there like that? I'll wait. Because if any of you women are like that, then those women apply. What I'm saying about those women, it applies to you. And that's why you're so butt, that's why you're so butt hurt. That's why a lot of women out there are so butt hurt. Because I talk about busted lace fronts. Is your lace front busted? I'm going to give you time. Go look in the mirror real quick. Is that why you're mad at me? Because you have a busted lace front in your head? Are your fingernails six inches long? Go ahead. Look down at your nails real quick. If your fingers, if your fingernails are about six inches long, then that applies to you. Do you have to use filter every time you take a picture, ladies? Go ahead. Scroll through your phone real quick. If you have to use filters for every single picture you take and you're not showing the real you, then what I talk about applies to you. It applies to you. It doesn't mean that I hate black women at all. Doesn't mean it at all. So therefore, if you're mad about it, take it with a grain of salt. I could care less. It doesn't mean I hate black women. It doesn't mean that Donald Glover hates black women. But black women always want to degrade black men, talk about how they're going to go over to the other side and mess with Caucasian men or any other race. We don't say nothing about it. We don't get mad. Why? We don't care. You have a choice to date and be with who you want to be with. That's the power and beauty of freedom. You can date and be with whoever you want to be with. Nobody should be mad at about, nobody should be mad about who anybody is dating out here. No matter what race it is. You love who you love, and that's that. That's how I look at it. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.